get out here on this Wednesday. No weather alerts. We're done with the snow. We're done just about with the cold. I think they're both going to come back at us later this week. Now, there will be some snow late today going into tonight. I think there's going to be some issues up around the northern Tug Hill in Jefferson and Lewis County, uh, but that's only up in elevation, moderate amounts. Now, if you get to the lower elevations east of Lake Ontario, I don't think there's any problems. Maybe northeastern sections of Oswego County, we do get some accumulation that'll uh, slow you down for sure. But the rest of central New York looking good with just nuisance snowfall. I mean, this time of the year, if we get a trace to an inch in a 12 hour period, it's nothing to get too concerned about, right? Well, we're not expecting much snow at all around Syracuse for today. We're going to start off with some partial sunshine thanks to this high pressure. Clouds though already starting to stream in from the warm front that's shifting the wind, producing some breeze as well this morning. But that's a warming wind this afternoon, and the wind should start to ease a little bit late in the day. Late in the day when we could get some scattered snow showers from this. Let's time it out with our future cast. Fading sunshine this morning. Temperatures starting off in the 20s. Hey, not bad. 30s this afternoon. Normal high is 32. We should outdo that by a few degrees. 36, my forecast. High. Late in the afternoon, you see some of the northern and northwestern suburbs dealing with some scattered snow showers and flurries, but some snow up in Jefferson County and northern Lewis County. And briefly in northern Oswego County, the roads head a little bit downhill, especially over the Tug Hill. We get some snow showers with a trace to an inch for tonight, and I'll show you the map with exact amounts. Tonight only drops to 30 degrees. There'll be less wind for tomorrow. The scattered snow showers and flurries lift to the north, and we get some breaks of sun developing during the afternoon. Not bad, rather pleasant considering what we just went through and what's also coming late this week going into the weekend. So we're close to 40, 39 is my forecasted high, but here comes a cold front tomorrow night. Thursday night we'll have some snow showers and periods of light snow with uh, probably only an inch or two of accumulation, but more importantly, it shifts the wind and drops our temperature all day Friday. We're going to be colder than this last air mass. Let's tackle the snowfall issue this afternoon through tonight. Minor amount traced to an inch in just about all of central New York, all the way up to central Oswego County. Northern Oswego County, especially the Tug Hill, could get three to six inches of snowfall by tomorrow morning. So 36 with increasing clouds, snow showers scattered around late in the afternoon, going into the evening and especially overnight down to 30. And then they start to taper off tomorrow with winds of zero to 10 miles per hour near 40. It's my pick day. Maybe a peak of sun in the afternoon. Tomorrow night, some snow showers, lake effect snow south southeast of the lake coming on Friday, 17 falling into the single digits, sub zero. We're talking minus nine. So these numbers Friday night, Saturday, colder than what we just had six the high minus seven the low Saturday night. The lake effect snow showers should taper off Saturday evening looks a lot drier and Sunday better back inside.